What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of Journey to the American Passport, we will talk about things that you should do once you become a US citizen. We talked in the previous episode about your naturalization test, we talked about the oath ceremony, so at this point of time you are in the USCIS office getting ready for your oath ceremony. Right before then, once you gather in a room and you get ready for the oath ceremony, they are going to give you a package titled US Citizenship and Immigration Services. So this is the package that I received and I'm going to share with you most of the items that are in here and that is going to help you understand what is expected from you after you become a US citizen. So let's take a look. All right, the first thing in the package is a US flag. This is going to be a nice thing to hold once you become a citizen, just to kind of take pictures with yourself friends and family. Well, actually there won't be friends and family right now in the pandemic, so it's gonna be pretty much just you, but that's just a little thoughtful thing that they are adding to the package. The second thing is this print here with the Oath of Allegiance, the Star Spangled Banner, the anthem, and then the Pledge of Allegiance. So before the officer starts the oath ceremony, he will be talking and then you talk with him just to kind of say the Pledge of Allegiance and the Oath of Allegiance. This is a cheat sheet for you just to kind of understand what he's saying and follow with. This way it's going to be easy for you. So that's item number two. Item number three is also another print congratulating you for becoming a US citizen. So it does list a couple of high level points about your rights and your responsibilities as a US citizen. And then here in the back, it's talking about the next steps now that you are a US citizen. So we will talk about these next steps in a little bit here. So other than that, there are also additional information about voting instruction, how to register as a voter and a couple of facts. So the voting instructions come in this uh, small cheat sheet. They are both in English and Spanish. And there's a little sticker when you vote, which happened to be immediately right after I became a citizen, so that was fun. There is another booklet right here with 14 facts about voting, so a lot of useful information because that's going to be your first time registering as a voter as well as voting. And on top of that, there will be a, a voter registration form specific to your state. So right here, I have an Arizona voter registration form. I'm not showing you because I do have some information in there. So this is pretty much everything that you will find in this package. So let's talk a little bit now about things that you are supposed to do once you become a citizen. Now in the USCIS office, once you become a citizen, you go through the oath of allegiance, they are going to ask you to give away your green card. So you won't have your green card with you anymore and instead you will receive a certificate of citizenship. So this certificate is a piece of paper that has information about you, date of birth, name, a picture of you, and this is going to be the proof that you are indeed a citizen. So the first thing that you want to do, and the officers are going to talk about this, is to sign the certificate of citizenship. There is a little space for you or a little field that you do have to sign as soon as you can. I remember they asked us to sign with black ink. So the first thing that you want to do is to take that certificate of citizenship and make sure that you sign it. You can do it right there if you can, or you can do it when you get home. So that's step number one. Step number two is to update your social security record. And for that, you have to go to social security office and you do have to go in person and take the certificate of citizenship and make sure that it's signed. So updating the social security record is very important, especially for example, if you are applying for a new job, they do have to verify your immigration status. So they might see that you are a resident, but in reality you are a citizen and that can cause some confusion. It does, however, require a couple of days before you go to the social security office. I don't remember the exact days, but just make sure that you ask the officer and they are going to give you the most accurate information. Step number three is to register to vote. You may not be interested in politics, but it's one of your duties and right to register as a voter and to vote. So make sure to do that. In the package, you will find all of the necessary information to register as a voter. You can either mail it in, you can go in person, or if you happen to be updating your driver's license, you can also register as a voter then. Step number four is to apply for a US passport. Now you are a US citizen. It's probably something that you've been waiting for for a long time and the US passport is one of the most powerful passports in the world. So make sure to do that. 
and I will talk in the next episode about how to apply for your US passport step by step, how I did it and how you can get your passport sent to you as fast as possible. Step number five is to petition for your parents or siblings to also become US residents. So now that you are a citizen, you do have the right to petition for them to come to the US, live here, work here as permanent residents if it's something that you are interested in and if it's something that they are also interested in. And finally, as a US citizen, you should know your responsibilities and your duties towards yourself and towards this country. So make sure that you are spending some time educating yourself, getting involved in the community, which is something that you should probably be doing anyways, whether you are a citizen or not. But just make sure that you do spend some time educating yourself about your duties and responsibilities as a new US citizen. Thank you guys for watching. This is pretty much for today's episode. If you found this video to be useful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. In the next episode, as I said, I'm going to walk you through the process of applying for your US passport for the first time. If you guys have any questions, do let us know in a comment. We answer every single comment within 24 hours. With that, thank you again for watching and we'll see you very soon on a new episode. Bye.